we want you all to hear that sometimes what you're asking for in the moment, you're not ready to let in. So what you get back is the letting in process rather than what you're asking for. So we're going to start in even a deeper place than what you've asked for. And then we'll get there and maybe you'll meet us there and maybe you won't. Maybe you'll meet us there. Maybe you won't. You could meet us there, but maybe you won't. You might meet us there, but maybe you won't. You could, but maybe you won't. It doesn't matter if you do or you don't because you can get there eventually. So this could be a good time or maybe not, but it's probably a good time. It probably is feels like a good time. So you'll probably get there. You'll probably hear now. You see what we're doing? Yeah. We're just giving you the license to get there or not to acknowledge that you have a desire that you might be ready for or not because words are really cheap. A lot of people offer lip service, but we're not wanting to just give you words. We're wanting you to find resonance with who you really are. That's what you're reaching for. You're not asking for our words. You're asking for an inspiration to your resonance. Well, your resonance is about what you're doing. And so sometimes if people go too far too fast, then it's just more words. So the universe doesn't work that way because the universe knows where you are and what's best for you to hear. So here we'll give our best answer for what you are asking for. We're going to speak back and forth from your perspective and ours, and you'll know which we're doing. So we'll start first with you. I've been around for a while and I have come to the realization that there is so much potential for me, potential for alignment and therefore potential for all other things because alignment leads to all of other wonderful things. It's come to my attention that there's potential for my alignment that I'm not quite reaching my full potential. I've been practicing thoughts. I guess a lot of people do. I've been practicing thoughts that haven't really let me understand who I am, how I have purpose, how I have value. I can often love others. In fact, it's what my default setting is. I turn my attention to others often and that gets me going and that always feels good, but it's hard for me to let love into me. I don't know why. I've been blocking it for a long time. I don't really even understand why just a habit that got started. I didn't understand it. I developed patterns. Other people responded to those patterns. So I suspect that from very early age, people wanted to love me and I just wouldn't let it in because I felt unloved. Now, isn't that just a ridiculous, vicious circle that I got going for myself? I felt unloved, so I didn't let love in. And because I didn't let love in, I felt unloved. And then I didn't feel loved, so I didn't let love in. And then because I didn't let love in, then I didn't feel loved. And then people couldn't love me because I wasn't letting love in. And I just developed a sort of pattern that nobody could really see because on the surface, I looked sort of normal and behaved sort of the way that I'd learned to behave. But I don't really understand why I wasn't really letting love in. But the one thing that has come from all of that is I've come to a keen awareness that I want to, that I want to let myself be loved. I thought I wanted to be understood. And as I've been listening to Abraham for a while, I realized that that's not really the quest because being understood is really an impossible thing because when you ask somebody to understand you, you need to immediately snap them into your same vibration. And that's an impossible thing. Everybody's got their own vibration going. So I think somewhere I got confused the desire for love. I think I got it confused with the desire to be understood. And I also think that I got confused about where the love was coming from. I think I thought the love would come from other people who didn't understand me instead of from source who always does. So there's two things I kind of got out of kilter. I got confused about being loved and being understood. And I looked for people that couldn't really understand me to be the reason that I felt love. I realize now how screwy that whole thing was and why it didn't work. And I'm relieved that I'm not failing at something that should work because it couldn't work. So I'm sort of feeling some relief that I was looking for love in all the wrong places and getting mixed up about whether I was really wanting love from them or understanding from them, which really is not possible. 
So I also understand that when I'm in a sort of bad place and I want someone to love me or understand me, that they've got to go to the same bad place I am to understand me. Those two things don't go together. I want them to love me and understand me, but they can't understand me unless they get on my vibe. And if they're on my vibe, my not good feeling vibe, then they can't love me. No wonder it didn't work. <laughs> Looking for love in all the wrong places. Is this making any sense to any of you? Relating a little bit even? <laughs> so now I've kind of got that squared away. Now I realize that as lovely as people are and as much as I love so many of them and as much as I love being in this body and here in this world and on this leading edge that I want to express love to them. But mostly I want to connect with love because if I don't let myself be loved, if I don't let this vessel that is me open to love then I can't really love anybody else not in a way that's meaningful to them so a lot of us are just running around a little bit broken we're not letting love in but we're trying to let love out so we're not going back to the well of replenishment we're just loving and serving and trying to be of value and getting depleted and getting exhausted and getting overwhelmed because we're not letting it in it's like never breathing air in and always breathing it out you can't get too far with that pretty soon you got to start breathing it in or you have nothing to breathe out and so now I'm more clear about all of this so I'm no longer wanting to look to others for that replenishment although sometimes you can find it sometimes somebody's all tuned in tapped in turned on and they got it going and blowing and when they hold me as their object of attention I can feel it and I do like that but I don't want to depend on somebody else's connection for that because they've got stuff they're doing too and I don't need anybody else's connection I've got my own straight line to it I've got my own vortex I've got my own valve that I can open wide to it and often I do sometimes I do sometimes I do it more easily than not it sort of depends on the momentum that got going but more and more I accept these things I know that source exists and I know that my inner being is a big part of that collective consciousness of source and that my inner being is in an undivided way focused upon me and knowing everything about me and loving me anyway that my inner being is loving my becoming and is never holding me responsible for what I've come to because I'm eternal I'm never gonna get done and there's always going to be within me a gap between what life has caused me to reach for and what I've allowed myself to catch up with and I've been beating up on myself so long about that gap because I reach for more and then I don't go and then I feel bad about the gap but my inner being never does that and oh I'm just figuring this out the very reason that I don't feel love or that I feel unloved is because my inner being is there and I haven't joined my inner being in other words the negative emotion that I feel that I've been calling people not loving me or my inner being not loving me or me not letting love in has only been because I have reached and have not caught up with what I've reached for and so the very fact that I can feel negative emotion which feels not love is my proof that the love exists because if that love didn't exist and it wasn't pointed right at me I couldn't feel this discord from not letting it in Whew. so the very unlovedness I feel is proof of the love that is there Ooh, I really like that me too <laughs> I sensed that it was there I had glimpses that it was there it showed it to me from time to time when I was in the right place I let it in from time to time and I'm getting better and better at letting it in I know that my inner being loves me and I'm in the mood right now to hear some from my inner being I'd like my inner being to explain to me a little bit what their perspective of me is I'd like to know how my inner being sees me and I'm in a better place now than I was at the beginning of this conversation so I have a better chance of letting more of it in than I was at the beginning of this conversation so I'll just listen for a minute and I'll hear what my inner being has to say about me we feel so much love and appreciation for your willingness to be in this body it's a good body <laughs> we have so much appreciation for you to be willing to play your role in our co-creation because you've got the hard part you're out here on the leading bleeding edge where 
you're exposed to conditions that you take in and sometimes you take to heart and you knew when you made the decision to do it that you'd see some things that you didn't want to see but you knew it was worth it because you knew out of seeing what you didn't want that you would be able to in the unique way that is you you would be able to come to conclusions about improvements not just for you but for the people you love and for the world that you love you knew that these ideas would burst out of you and you knew that when they did that there'd be a gap because you knew that the very contrast that provided you the launching of the rocket was going to hold you in contradiction to the new rocket for a while but you knew that we would keep our promise to you that's why you weren't surprised to meet up with us you knew that we would keep our promise and that we would not take our eyes off of your goals of your objectives and you knew that that's how it worked but somehow you did a little tricky twist on yourself because you've decided to beat up on yourself for not always easily going right along you say to yourself I know this stuff why don't I just go with that flow and the answer to that is because law of attraction won't let you and that's a normal thing and sometimes it has to get worse and worse and worse before you ask for more and more and more but it gets easier and easier for you all the time have you noticed that we are taking so much delight in how much you do catch on to right away and how much resistance you're leaving aside and how much resistance that was one time active in you a lot that is no longer active or rarely active within you and so our wish for you is that you feel about you as we do and of course that's not a possible thing really because you are your perspective and we are our perspective but we are dominant and we do have you outnumbered <laughs> we really do know who you are and at moments when you are in lesser resistance you get more and more sweeping feelings of who you are so that feeling of resonance that we were talking about you're feeling more of the time and when it comes you know it and now what we're really hearing from you is not that you don't know and not that you aren't often in complete alignment with it but that the sublime of the alignment is so sublime that you can't bear it when you're not well you've just got to suck it up you've just got to accept that it's going to be that way that it can't feel good when you're not in alignment and it always feels good when you do and both are part of the bargain that you struck when you decided to come so it's time for you to stop beating up on yourself for every little bit of negative emotion Esther saw coffee spilled all over all of them and she said I did that and there was something about the universe humorously delivering to her something that was a vibrational match to how she was feeling that made her feel extra extra loved isn't it nice that law of attraction responds to you truly honestly that law of attraction doesn't play games with you that it's always consistent and isn't it a wonderful thing that we your inner being stand in full appreciation of you no matter what you're doing and isn't it nice to know that the way you feel can't be separated from the way we feel aren't you glad to know that you have all of these options and aren't you glad to be in an environment of such freedom where you're free to think whatever thoughts you choose to think and that the thoughts that you think are always in relationship to the thoughts that your inner being is thinking can you imagine a more perfect guidance system than that don't you feel blessed that every step that you take you have someone else walking with you and loving you and knowing you and not doing it for you would you want us to do it for you you would not allow us to do it for you even if we could do it for you you would not want us to do it for you because you are the creator of your reality you are a leading edge being out here on this leading edge and we are your support system and what you accomplish we all benefit from but this is your game that we are all involved in and it's a big game and it matters immensely to all of us and there is great love here for you so the best thing that you took from all of this is that when I feel bad I'm extra loved <laughs> that's what that means source must be really loving me because I'm really hurting as I block it off <laughs> and I don't have to block it off I'm just choosing to because I have some stupid thing that I've been thinking about that's causing me to feel sorry for myself again I've chosen the victim role again I'm feeling vulnerable again and my inner being isn't having any of it because if my inner being were in agreement I'd feel great 
but my inner being isn't having any of it. And so, um, 